guys, what's going on and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so freaking excited because Too Faced Cosmetics has finally launched in India and with the title you would have seen, I am going to be doing a review and a wear test of the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. Now, I was really contemplating on buying the Bond This Way Foundation, but then so far the reviews that I have seen of YouTubers who have oily skin, they did not recommend it at all and it seems to be best suitable if you have dry to normal skin and I have extremely oily skin, not just oily but a next level oily and I live in Chennai which is hot and humid throughout the year so I do not want to spend my hard earned coins on a foundation which may or may not work however on the other hand I have heard raving reviews about the Peach Perfect foundation and I really want to see how this wears throughout the day on my oily greasy ass skin. Now the shade that I picked it for myself is Warm Beige and for foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in MAC. With other foundation shades I will mention it on the description box below so do check it out if you are interested. Now if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video. So let's quickly go over with the description and the claims of the product. Now it says that it's a 14 hour photo friendly wear, smooth for a flawless finish, oil controlling, infused with exclusive comfort matte technology, smells like peach and sweet fig cream, free of parabens and gluten and it is a cruelty free brand which all sounds amazing. So this is how the outer packaging looks like which comes in this pink and white ombre along with gold detailing. Now it has all the ingredients and everything listed right here and at the top you have is the shade name as well. And now for the actual foundation packaging it comes with the same theme of the pink and white ombre along with the gold detailing you have the shade name mentioned right here and the best part is even though it comes in a tube it has a pump which is awesome. And last but not the least, they offer about 17 shades in India and it's priced at 2,500 rupees for 48 ml of product. Now the quality of the product is a bit higher compared to the standard amount of product you would get for any foundation which is 30 ml and even for example the Bond This Way foundation, they do offer about uh, 30 ml of product for 2,700 rupees so just FYI. And a quick disclaimer, I have picked out the primer from Too Faced that is the Hangover RX primer but I am not using that today because I am going to stick to the usual foundation review that I do wherein I am not going to use any primer, I am not using any setting spray because I want to see how the foundation works on its own as well as I am not going to use any highlighter as well because my skin is going to get shiny throughout the day. So yeah. And now let's finally move on to the application of the foundation. So on this side I'm going to be using my beauty blender and on this side I'm going to be using a foundation brush. So I'm going to take like one pump first. So it is a pretty thick kind of a formula, it's not like runny. The shade match though, it is perfect. Firstly, the shade match is on point because I couldn't choose a shade better and I feel it has really mattified my skin. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this side is way matter than this side, like it's a bit shiny and it has also evened out my skin tone which is nice it's given a nice decent coverage i wouldn't call this like a full coverage but it's like a medium to full you know like in between that but so far so good now about the fragrance it does have a very faint sweet smell like peach and fig but then it's not as strong and intoxicating not like the huda beauty one it's not that strong at all so this is like a bearable smell now for the other side one more pump So when I compare it side by side, uh, I feel the brush side has given a better coverage compared to the sponge uh, because I still have quite a bit of product like left and uh, yeah, the finish is beautiful. 
So I'm gonna quickly finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So this is how my full face of makeup looks like right now. All the products are blended beautifully together. Now the products that I have used, I will mention it on the description box below, but those are the usual basic products I always go for. So yeah, the time right now is about 3.59 p.m. and I will quickly show you guys how it looks in natural lighting and yeah. So the time right now is 11.10 p.m. and it has been over 7 hours and this is how my foundation is looking like right now and it looks amazing. Now I'm sorry the first check in itself took so long because I was binge watching on a Netflix series and I just wanted to finish it which I finally did. So coming back to the foundation, let me zoom you guys in and show you how everything looks like up close. Okay, so as you guys can see, my nose area alone, like over here, it seems a lot more shinier than the rest of my face. The cheeks and all, it is shiny, but it's not that greasy oily. Even my nose, it's not like that greasy oily mess. It is just shiny. So my cheeks shininess match my forehead's shininess, wherein my nose is a little extra shiny. Now around the chin area, what has happened is, if you see over here, there's a red spot. Now, like an idiot, I started picking the breakout over here. Please do not do that. I just subconsciously did it while I was watching Netflix. And yeah, that's why it looks red over here because the foundation wore off because I was picking it. But then at the same time, if you see the breakout over here, it was much more angry and redder redder is that even a word but then the foundation still has covered it up like i cannot see the redness through like i can see the discoloration a little bit but i don't see the redness so yeah let me see how far i can push this foundation i don't think i can sit for the complete 14 hours as it claims but let me see how far i can go through with this it's already kind of late for a sunday and i have work tomorrow so i will see you guys in the last and final check so the time right now is 2 40 a.m on a freaking monday day and this is how the foundation is looking like right now now it has been close to 11 hours like 10 and a half hours or so and uh, this is how oily my skin is now let me quickly zoom you guys in and show you what's what okay so firstly ignore my red bloodshot eyes all the veins are kind of popping out and even my lipstick is like half eaten and gone at this time it's close to 3 a.m i don't care much about it but uh, coming back to the foundation from my first check-in which was at around seven hours mark i think by the eighth hour is when the oil started coming through and this is how everything looks like now around my cheek area as well as my forehead area it is the same amount of shininess or oiliness it's not that bad but it is there the oiliness is there wherein the nose area is where it's got the most oiliest as you can see the super shining tip of my nose that's all oil but then coming to the caking and separation there hasn't been much this side but this side along this area there's a little teeny bit of a uh, separation that's a little bit happening which is kind of okay for 11 hours mark without using a primer or setting spray this little amount of separation is completely fine but apart from that there is no fine lines being emphasized there's no caking there's no separation overall on my face so i'm going to use a blotting sheet and see how the foundation looks once i remove the excess oil from my face so one clean sheet you see the difference So one and a half blotting sheet has been used to remove the excess oil and this is how fresh the makeup looks like right now which is still really good. So let's quickly go over with the pros and the cons about this foundation. Now I have made a note of it because I am freaking tired and let me just read it through. So for the first pro is that it is really long lasting on my oily skin. Now like I said before I did not use any primer or setting spray and for this foundation to last on my super oily skin for almost 8 
8 hours without any touch up that is amazing now the second pro is that it goes on really smooth it blends beautifully and I love the finish of it because it gave this nice comfort matte finish like it claims because it was not the dry sucking the moisture out of your face kind of a matte it was a very nice natural matte finish that was a good thing and then it is very buildable like you saw i used one whole pump over here but it did not look cakey even right now there's no caking up at the side of my nose or no fine lines have been emphasized so it is extremely buildable and it is transfer proof as well because like i mentioned earlier i was sweating on my upper lips i was just dabbing off the sweat and the foundation did not come off along with it it was just the sweat that came off now it is paraben free gluten free and cruelty free as well so that is another pro and the packaging i really like the packaging because it comes in a tube with a pump and i feel it is much more efficient because even once the foundation gets over you can cut off the tube and you can scoop out the remaining foundation and last but not the least is the amount of product you get for the price point is amazing because you get 48 ml of product for 2500 rupees like just an example is the huda beauty one they offer about 35 ml of product and that costs about 3310 rupees wherein this one i feel you do save a lot of money for the amount of product that you get so these were the pros and for cons there is nothing literally nothing for me because I really like this foundation I do not find any issue with it whatsoever the fragrance uh, I would not call it as a con it's more like an FII because if you see the ingredient list there is actual peach extract and fig extract on it it's not like artificial so that is the smell that you get there is fragrance mentioned in the ingredient list but it's way at the bottom and for me personally fragrance on my foundation or any product has never given any issue but there could be people who are sensitive to fragrance included in the foundation for them just fii but again i would not take that as a con because for me personally it was not a con if that makes sense so overall i do love and recommend the Too faced peach perfect comfort matte foundation now if you have oily skin i recommend it if you have normal skin i do recommend it dry skin i have no idea but then make sure you do use the right primer and setting spray according to your skin type you will love this foundation so yeah these were my thoughts and this finally wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Shanair on instagram and it's Shanair on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye